Hey there, and welcome to I Can, I Am, I Will, the world's number one podcast for confidence and self-empowerment. This is our 16th episode in our 100 podcast and 100 day series. My name is Lindsay. I am your confidence coach. And here with this podcast, we are discussing how you can stop limiting yourself and build your confidence. So we are digging in to topics and concepts to really help you get that genuine confidence within yourself so you can live authentically. And yesterday, we talked about limiting beliefs. We define limiting beliefs, and I gave some examples. I want to go further into limiting beliefs today because it is very important that you have a very good grasp on what limiting beliefs are so you can spot them and stop them from negatively affecting your life. Before we begin, I would ask you to please like, comment, share, leave reviews, all of that good stuff. I'm also on Patreon. A link will be in the description. Thank you so much for your support. Okay, limiting beliefs. So yesterday we talked about limiting beliefs and I talked about how they can negatively affect you, but by simply being aware of them, it can help you to point them out and then not be as negatively affected by them. So we define limiting beliefs as a thought process or a a perspective that you can have that would make you think that you cannot do something. So it's something that limits you. It's a perspective that you have or a perception that you have on yourself or the world that limits you in some type of way. Yes, I am from Philly. Um, We say some type of way. (laughs) More than we say John. Okay. (laughs) Moving forward, Uh, limiting beliefs, like when I looked up resources, because I mentioned yesterday, I didn't think that the current resources were that good and I didn't think that they gave a really good grasp of what limiting beliefs are. And I looked up some resources and a lot of them, they gave like the generic examples of limiting beliefs. Uh, It said like having a fear of making money, but having a fear of making money is not a limiting belief. That is a feeling that is derived from a limiting belief. And that belief could be that you think that money is unobtainable or that it will be impossible for you to make what you consider to be good money. So when you believe that, that limiting belief, then you can have that fear of making money And it doesn't come out as fear as like you're scared of it. It's not like you're like jumping and screaming if you see money. The fear manifests as you not taking action or trying to find ways where you can make money. And all of this is important to understand because it's part of how you're working, your inner working of your mind. And it's how you're thinking and how you perceive the world and yourself. So these limiting beliefs, they do not come out of nowhere. You are not born limiting yourself. These limiting beliefs come from your external environment. And they typically come from either cultural or social norms, or they come from people. So say someone had a boyfriend and their boyfriend cheated on them, and then that person is feeling very bitter and upset And they're going around saying, all men are dogs, all men cheat, all men this, all men that. And they're just like downing men. Then if they say that to another person and that person takes that in, then they're creating that limiting belief, that generalization. Who got, almost couldn't get that out. (laughs) The generalization. Ooh, that was better that time. That men are dogs or whatever they say, just because one guy cheated. And that's not to say only one man in the world has ever cheated, but that is to say that someone can have a belief and then they project that belief and they project that to you via advice or suggestion. So people give advice that is limiting. They give limiting advice. And I'm trying to think of an example. It would be 
if they say like, oh, the market's overcrowded, uh, you're not going to make any money doing this, you need to do it differently, no one's going to buy that. And I'm certain that every single person that has become successful today has heard a limiting belief from someone else that has come by way of advice. And I'm using like the quotes with my fingers. Advice. Advice is the worst vice. And not even people who are successful and you know of. I'm saying like even like you, if you're just trying something new, you could be getting a limiting belief as advice. For example... When I first wanted to lose weight, I was told not to lift weights because then I would look manly. So I should only do cardio. That's extremely limiting because if you want to be healthy, I was losing weight to be healthy and to make sure my body was healthy. And you should also be building, you should be building muscle. You should be lifting weights because guess what, honey? When you lift weights, you build that muscle and the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn. And it's all about calories in versus calorie out. So the more ca- muscle you have, the more calories you burn, um, a.k.a. the more ice cream you can eat. <laughs> Which is just how my mind works. So that was very limiting. And that was advice from people. Oh, you don't want to be muscular. Now, after working out for five years and being able to, at this point, I can deadlift probably over 200 pounds, my max deadlift. You can't tell I have muscle if I'm not flexing. If I'm just standing, you can't even tell I have muscle. So if someone told me right now, oh, you don't want to lift weights as a woman because you'd look masculine, I would literally laugh because honestly, I would like love to see that. Like, I would just think that would be amazing. Um, yeah, because it's it's not true. Just that's where we're at. It's not true. And there are other limiting beliefs that are just common Um cultural things and you'll hear them in society for instance boys don't cry that is a limiting belief it's limiting men from experiencing their emotions and when you don't cry when you don't experience your emotions then you push your emotions down and then they build up and they come out as anger or sadness or depression or anxiety or uneasiness and you are taking away from yourself so these people they are limiting you Another one, uh, similar to how I said, like, women shouldn't lift weights, like saying girls don't play sports. And you can say basically, and not to make a generalization, but essentially almost any generalization is a limiting belief because someone is trying to put you in a group with other people, like um, for blondes, like saying like, there's this idea that like blondes are stupid. And that is a limiting belief. And people can say that and then someone who's blonde might pick that up and be like, what? Like, I'm stupid? No, you're not. My hair is brown and (laughs) I don't know if you realize this, but I can be like a pretty smart cookie. (laughs) And yes, I did just say smart cookie and I'm not taking that out. Um, I dyed my hair blonde and then I started getting dumb blonde jokes. And I remember just looking at people. I'm like, you realize how stupid you sound right now thinking that just because I dyed my hair, my intelligence level and personality has changed. I'm like, you do realize that I dyed my hair, but I didn't like change my my brain. Like, you realize that, right? (laughs) I'm such a smart ass. But there are all of these limiting beliefs like all around you. And it's so important to be able to identify them so you can reject them so you're not limiting yourself. And I'm going to talk about another limiting belief tomorrow. And that limiting belief is the quote, blood is thicker than water. So the actual quote is, I'll have to look it up. It's something along, blood of the covenant is thicker than water of the womb. That is the quote, the actual quote. So when people say blood is thicker than water, they could actually be limiting you. All of these like common Um, even like just smile can be limiting you because sometimes you don't want to just smile. Sometimes you are working through something and you need to work through those emotions instead of smiling and ignoring it. So that can be limiting you. And a lot of the times these resources on limiting beliefs do not even skim the top of what limiting beliefs really are. They are at the core of a lot of societal standards and societal ideations and thinking. They really are. 
So if there's anyone who ever put you into a category or tried to fit you into a box or asked you how like to categorize yourself or that dreaded question, what's your story? <laughs> They could be limiting you there. They're trying to just fit you in a box or they see you and because you have a certain characteristic, if you have blonde hair or whatnot, they just try to limit you and think that you're dumb or question your intelligence. I cannot stand it. And these are limiting beliefs. We really need to be aware of them so we can reject them. And that is what I have for you today. I feel like I could write an entire book about limiting beliefs and, um, yeah, we'll probably get into another episode of Limiting Beliefs further in the series tomorrow. I will be talking about that blood is thicker than water quote. And we are going to end with our affirmations. Are you ready? I can. I am. I will. Have a great day.